It's 4.45 in the morning and what a lovely morning, honestly. And this is the one thing, one of the main things, sorry, I love about the end of May. It's daylight at this time and Plymouth Station's looking lovely as usual. Welcome to another vlog and it's the last one of the entire season nothing to do with Plymouth Argyle though but it will wrap up the League One season once and for all as today guys we're going to decide who joins both us and Ipswich in the championship for 2023-24 it's the it's the League One playoff final it's Sheffield Wednesday versus Barnsley. It's a South Yorkshire derby at Wembley today. Boy, I'm excited for this. Boy, I'm excited for this. I've just left Plymouth. Uh, I'm now on the way to London to go and watch this final. Us League One fans have been waiting for this whole time, ever since the season finished and ever since the playoffs finished themselves that's the semi-final leg obviously the semi-final legs obviously and if you remember what happened in the season we were champions we won the league and Ipswich came second us two got promoted automatically to the championship third place just missing out on automatics for Sheffield Wednesday fourth Barnsley fifth Bolton sixth Peterborough and Peterborough nipping sixth place from Derby. Obviously in the playoffs, third goes against sixth and fourth goes against fifth. Sheffield Wednesday had Peterborough, Barnsley had Bolton. And Peterborough beat Sheffield Wednesday 4-0 in the first leg, followed by Sheffield Wednesday coming up with an incredible comeback at Hillsborough, winning 5-1 to take the aggregate score to 5 all, and for it to go to penalties, which Wednesday won and Darren Moore's side are in the final today at Wembley. Barnsley had Bolton, which was a draw at Bolton's ground, but Barnsley prevailed at Oakwell on their turf to secure them a playoff final spot against Sheffield Wednesday. Now, I am in the Barnsley end today. First of all, I couldn't get a ticket for the Wednesday end. Second of all, a lot of good mates of mine support Barnsley. They've managed to help me get a ticket for this final. I've been excited to go to this final ever since the season finished. And I was um, obviously aware that we got promoted automatically, so I didn't have to worry. So I can go to this playoff final today completely relaxed, and I can't wait for it. And uh, for once, I'm not in my Argyle gear. <laughs> I mean, like, um, it wouldn't feel right, would it? Uh, wearing it to a game that has nothing to do with Argyle. Unless I have it on underneath, but nah, 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 nah. I've, I've got my Spanish tracksuit on and my MotoGP Danny Pedrosa hat. So, this is what I'll be wearing today. Shorts on underneath. It's going to be a boiling day. It's the end of May. It's going to be boiling. It's predicted to be boiling all week. But yeah, I'm really excited for this final. What all us League One fans have all been waiting for. Who's going to join us and Ipswich in the championship next season? Will it be Sheffield Wednesday or will it be Barnsley? And while all this has been going on in League One, there has been playoffs elsewhere as well for the Championship and League Two. We'll start with League Two. Leighton Orient won the league. Stevenage got promoted. 
Northampton got automatically promoted. The difference with League Two is that the top three get automatically promoted. For League One and the Championship, it's the top two. Stockport had Salford, Bradford had Carlisle. Carlisle knocked Bradford out, Stockport knocked Salford out. Just gone, we've had the League Two playoff final. And Carlisle knocked Stockport out and won the playoff final. Taking the Cumbrian side back to League One after a few years. Brilliant story for them. Shame for Stockport because back-to-back -back promotions would have been a fantastic story, but Stockport have got another year in League Two. Carlisle will be going into League One next season. And I can't lie, if we didn't go up this season, I that's a, an away day. I'm gutted I'm not going to next season because I've been to Carlisle before as a place and the ground itself. It's, it's a lovely city. It's a lovely city, lovely club, Carlisle. I'm delighted for them. They fully deserved going up at the end. The Championship, Luton had Sunderland and Middlesbrough had Coventry. Coventry knocked Middlesbrough out, Luton knocked Sunderland out and I can't lie, no matter what people think of Kenilworth Road for next season, I personally think this is one of the greatest ever stories I've ever seen in English football history. Luton beat Coventry to the playoff final on penalties after Covent one of Coventry's players missed. Luton are in the Premier League next season and considering that they were in the National League all these years ago, their rise has been incredible and also I'm delighted for Luton because a certain Sonny Bradley plays for them and if you're watching this Sonny, massive congratulations and to your team and yourself. I'm so proud of you, honestly. I'm very proud of Luton and the reason why I'm very proud of Luton also is because it's another club like Brentford I look at that I'm hoping one day we get to the Premier League. Commiserations for Coventry, but I'm delighted for Luton. The National League to the Premier League is just, oh, it's unbelievable. That is just an incredible story and it's just wonderful to see in English football. It just shows it's not always about the so-so-called big boys, is it? Delighted for Luton. They fully deserved it. Which means the Premier League is all set for next season. The Premier League next season is... Man City, Arsenal, Man United, Newcastle, Liverpool, Brighton, Aston Villa, Tottenham, Brentford, Fulham, Crystal Palace, Chelsea, Wolves... Bournemouth, West Ham, Nottingham Forest, Everton, Burnley, Sheffield United and Luton. And of course, yeah, Burnley and Sheffield United were the top two in the Championship this season. Burnley absolutely tormenting the Championship this season, going back to um, where they feel they belong after a year out from the Premier League. Brilliant stuff from Vincent Coventry's debut season at the Clarets. And Luton's joining them today will decide from the two South Yorkshire clubs, one of them will be staying in League One next season. The other will be joining us, Plymouth Argyle and Ipswich Town in the Championship next season. And then we will have the full rotor squad for both the Championship and League One. In fact, every of the main leagues in general, actually. Today is when we all find out who's where. Big one today, guys, at Wembley. It's the South Yorkshire Derby. It's one of the South Yorkshire Derbies at Wembley Stadium today in either blue and white versus red. Sheffield Wednesday versus Barnsley. And it's going to be absolutely mental. I'm really excited for it. And I know my team aren't playing today, but I'm still going to say it. Because remember who won the league at the end. Up the Janners, up the Argyle, up the Greens, up the Pilgrims, up the Plymouth. Come on, you boys in green. Well, you're certainly not going up to the championship, are you?
I don't want to speak too soon, but this is honestly the quietest I've ever seen the Central Line in my life. Mad. Checking out the competition for next season. We're coming for you. We're coming for you. Gareth Ainsworth. We're coming for you. You know what I love even better about this? You can so we're now on the Metropolitan Line. Not far towards Wembley now. Um, well, it's full of Wednesday fans and Barnsley fans on here. But you know what I love even more is that you can hear a banjo music in the background. It just makes it so much more calmer, doesn't it? Towards a game of football, doesn't it? Um, so good, so good. Right, we've made it. We've made it. Barnsley fans, Wednesday fans everywhere. Oh, it's going to be an exciting final. Here we go then, to wrap up the League One season and to wrap up the domestic season in general. One of these teams will be in League One next season. The other will be in the Championship. All gets decided, 90 minutes. And if it does get any worse, extra time and penalties. But who knows, who knows? You can hear them already cracking start I mean it is a derby after all so you've got to expect amazing atmosphere like this here we are then big game today big South Yorkshire game today one of these clubs will be in the championship the other in League One it is Sheffield Wednesday versus Barnsley big one today We've made it, we've made it. Wembley Stadium, Sheffield Wednesday, Barnsley. He's been on podcast with us. Now the debut with a video all together in the playoff final. And it's the one and only Oxford United himself, Jack Ward. How you doing everybody, how you doing? Jack, how are we feeling coming into today? Good, I mean, really good that we're watching a game of football that I'm not involved in, you know? Oh mate, I'm all the same, I'm all the same. All season, every game has meant too much. Oh, and today, know. I just enjoy it, enjoy the atmosphere. It's, honestly, it's amazing. Oh mate, honestly. In terms of the amount of fans are right, it's fantastic. And they're that's nervous it. and I'm not, and that's fine. I can, I can take that. I just got here 20 minutes ago and it looks amazing already. Like, I'm, it's unbelievable. I, the minute I got to Victoria Station from Plymouth, there's literally 11 when Wednesday fans at the station already. Like yeah. I knew it was going to be massive. Knew it was going to be massive. Um, I'll go on to Wednesday Barnsley in a minute, but I take it you're relieved. Really yeah. Season's finished. Staying up. Next League One next yeah. season. I mean, I'm glad that I'm glad that like I said, this game means nothing, and we can yeah. completely write the season off and just move. Move away from the perspective. All these lads, you know, yeah. this means everything to them. Oh, 100%, 100%. Would I want to be here right now? Of course I would, but I think we've got to be, I've got to be pretty honest in saying that I'm just glad that this season we're safe and we can, yeah. you know, give it a go next season. But yeah, but it's been a long season. Oh, 100%. It's been a long season. Just out of curiosity, yeah. um, what would the reaction be like if Oxford did go down to League Two next season and the, the podcast more? probably focusing towards League 2 and League 1. I don't know. I, I think because I had it in my head, I had it in my head that we wouldn't get relegated. And that's probably, you know, quite a positive thing. Um, I, yeah, I think my, my, my mind was just, we can't go down. So I didn't even think about oh, it. I don't blame you. Yeah, fair enough. I'm just glad that it's all over and we can finally stay in the league. That's amazing. I can't lie. I did have Oxford as one of my biggest underachievers this season. Because I, had to, do, I had to do really well this season. Well, yeah. So I don't blame you. Uh, what's the thoughts on next season so far then? Um, like, How do you think you're doing so far? Early days of all down to the summer transfer window. All down to the window. If we need a massive rebuild, we've got a new manager. Obviously, going into his first summer, Liam Manning's first summer, which is important for him. Hopefully, he can still get the players that he wants. and how we can rebuild the squad because ultimately last season was absolutely horrendous so it's good yeah, that we can rebuild it and then go again but yeah I, I could tell you that probably closer to July time when we've hopefully bought a few players in yeah, fair enough fair, fair enough, enough mate fair enough score prediction for today Barnsley's um, seven Wednesday I've always said I've got to stay consistent I'm careful how loud I say it as yeah, we are in the middle of Wembley way but I said 1-1 <laughs> one, one after 90 minutes I can't see goals in extra time if I could I'm always swearing towards Wednesday unfortunately 
whether that is extra time or penalties, I'm not entirely sure. But I'm just going towards my day. But like I said, and I've been saying all season and looking at predictions, these two sides, can, the outcome can be either way. Honestly, can be because these are two top sides that should be, you know, that easily could be going going up. Hundred percent. But 100%. you know, that's playoff football, isn't it? One team count and one team won't, and that's the the magic of it. Yeah. No. Definitely. Definitely. Um, anyone to look out for today for one of Barnsley or Sheffield Wednesday? Uh, I've said Luke and Connell for Barnsley. Yeah. And I've said, of course, Barry Bannon, Michael yeah. Smith. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Um, Windass as well. Uh, lots of names. Got lots of names. Johnson, Patterson, amazing. All those players are fantastic in the semi final. So, in the second they got to see, so we have to wait and see. But yeah, be good, mate. Be good. Yeah, 100%. And last question of all um, the one I'm excited for the most, I can't lie. Um, very early days, of course, um, as of 10 of May, but how do you think Plymouth's getting on in the Championship next season so far? I can stay up. I reckon you Come on, up. yes! I reckon you will stay up. You need to recruit, obviously, in the summer. Yeah, no, no, I agree. Replace some of those loan players, Bally Mumbra, if you get them permanently amazing, but if not, definitely replace them. Finaz has these loan players, he's used and he's really well. I saw Scar's renewed his contract, oh, yeah, so that's a bonus for you. Hard is done the same. Hard is done the same. Yes, you recruit well. I think, you, I think you really can, but the Championship, looking at it now, now, is so competitive. Oh, it is. So, about a shadow of a doubt. We've got teams like Southampton, Leicester, and Leeds going down as well. It's mental. We'll have to wait and see, though. Good luck, though. Oh, no, 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 And how's Ipswich getting on so far next season? That's there, up. That's there. Up as well. I honestly do think so. I think mean, they've got fun, they've got financial backing. Yeah. They spend money in League One, so they're going to spend money in, in, in the Championship. You'd imagine. I think so, we'll yeah. both surprise a few next so I think, season. Yeah, now. I reckon you'll both be safe. I edge towards it just a little bit higher in the table. Oh no, yeah, no, that's fair enough. But I think we'll both stay up. Yeah, that makes Perfect. sense. Makes Amazing. Sense. Cheers, Cheers, Jack. No, honestly, enjoy the game Cheers. either way. Yeah. Yeah. Much appreciated. All right. And the next three minutes is going to be a full clip of two people not having to worry at all. Alex, how are we feeling? Mate, oh, I'm so glad if we can't in this position. I'm all the same. Um, I'm all the same. I'm so all the look, same. Wednesday, Barnsley. I can't actually, I don't know what way it's going to be. You've only got to see the Wednesday. <laughs> um, Sport's been unreal I think, so far. I think, I think Wednesday will do it today. I'm in there. I think Wednesday will do it today as well. I'm yeah. going to go 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one Wednesday. Oh, you've got the same as me. Same as me. Are you, is yours extra time though? Is yours during the 90s? I think they'll do it in the 90s. In the 90s, uh, no enough. I think they'll go one nil up. Barnsley to equalise. And then a late winner. From Michael Smith. Michael Smith, okay, fair enough. Uh, that's fair enough, fair enough. Um, early prediction of us, Jack, this already, but how are we both doing next season so far in the Championship? Um, I think we'll do it right, mate. I think top 10, Plymouth, I think we'll stay up. Yeah, I'll take that. I think we'll both, I think I'll take it. I think we'll both do it right, mate. Guys, guys. How are we feeling coming into today? Nervous. Nervous as Score prediction. What's the score? Yeah, oh, well done. Oh, wow. 3 1 Bansley. 3 1 Bansley, yeah. gone. I'm going to go up saying 3 1. Very optimistic, but. Who's I'm scoring to today then, boys? Luke oh. Connell. Luke Connell, Irving Kane, and Ted Hitch. Anyone for Wednesday that will score? No. <laughs> if anyone's going to score for Wednesday, it's going to be. Straight away, no. Mad Anderson on goal. Fair enough, oh, fair, fair enough. enough. I think. We got Devante Cole for two, Connell for one, and Lee Gregory for one. What about a Wednesday sending off? Do you think that will happen? Barry Bannon. You go up to Mr. Bannon, send off. Yeah, yeah, look, look. Get him out, Nate. Get him out as quick as you can. Someone just dive at him. Yeah, you'll be fine. Uh, Barry Bannon, red card. Like, when Steven Jarrett got that red card in 40 seconds. Yeah, that's not going to happen. No, 100%, 100%. Yeah. And as it stands, obviously, as I'm filming this video, how will we, Plymouth, do in the Championship next season? If you spend wisely, you'll survive. Okay. What oh, oh, position? What position so far? Come on, I'm curious. 18th. I'll take that. I'll take that. 12th. I think you'll have a better season. I'll take that any day of the week. Brilliant season. You'll have a good start. You might fall off a bit towards the end, but I think Wouldn't surprise me, to be fair. Yeah. I'll take that, though. I'll take Absolutely. that. Easy. And obviously... Ipswich, the other team, not worried. Where are they going to be set next season? I, I, reckon, I, reckon, I reckon they'll get in playoffs. Fair enough. Oh, 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 o
I think we'll I think this relegation yeah. battle will we'll probably start, I don't think. But yeah, fair enough, fair better, enough. Better us going up than these lot. Yeah. Oh, if we can keep these down and go up, I don't care. I don't, where I don't, I'd, 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 I'd be swearing fourth if we relegated, but not these are. Yeah. Absolutely. Not again, not again. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't blame me at all, don't blame me at all. Alfie, score prediction. Because there's a theme that they go penalties every single final. Yeah. Um, I don't think it will today, so I'm going to go 2-1 win. 2-1 win. So I'm Wednesday. in the bars yet, so I've got to keep it quiet. 2-1 right? Wednesday. Because I don't want to go back to Hillsborough. When it was 5-0 and 5-1, I don't want to go back. Send them up. Yeah. Man. How will Cambridge do next season? Early days, but how will they do so far? Oh, God. If we can stay up, they'll be happy. But at the moment, we've got no one coming in. We've got no one coming in, and we've got no team at the moment. So it I be saw tough. your retained list as well. How did you feel after that? Oh, gutted. Yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah. I don't blame you at all. There we are. I can't wait to gutted. edit this. It'll be class. Um, uh, but yeah, no, so 2 1 Wednesday, you're saying. Yeah, well, Who's yeah. getting on the score sheet? Gregory Brace. Uh, goalie scores for Barnsley. And now the big one, the big one for um, this channel as well. How will Plymouth do next season? Plymouth. Championship so far, how will we do? Any Plymouth fans watching this, I do apologise, but I think you will go back down. Oh, just no. because. Alfie. Sorry, sorry, but just because. <laughs> you haven't got enough players in, I don't think, at the yeah, moment. Yeah, fair enough. But, um, what is it, your centre back that just signed on a new deal? Was yeah, it? no, we've, we've got Scar next to Was it Scar, again, yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's Ennis good. Ennis is good. gone, that's Mayer's good. gone, Hardy signed a contract. That's good. Depends I don't know. on when it's we bring back tight. Cooper. It's going to be tight, it's going to be tight. Yeah, fair enough. Ipswich, how will they do next season? I'll so stay up. Hurst to say, but I'll stay up. What position? <laughs> just about, just about. Fair enough. Like 19th sign. And but where are we going to be? Out Cambridge. 22nd? Yeah, about that. Okay. Atmosphere, mad. Just look at it. It's what a playoff final literally needs to deliver. It's perfect. It's literally perfect. Early prediction, but obviously the fix just come out on my birthday, June the 22nd. Very early prediction. Could be anyone, but as it stands, who do you think Ipswich will get first game of the season? If you had to pick one team. I know. I'm pretty sure we're going to be away. Um, so I'm going to go. I'm going to go Watford away. What's your favourite anti Norwich Sam? Uh, what oh, about Norwich? Is. Yeah, about Norwich. Yeah. Really the DDS Smith one. All, all preparing for next season again, isn't it? Yeah. Mate, I'm not singing it now. I, <laughs> I do don't blame you. Do not do that to uh, me. Taylor has joined us from Barnsley on tour. How are we feeling for today, mate? Very nervous, but very confident as well. I guess you'll be much happier also that I'm in your end today as well. Yeah. Choosing that over one of your most hated clubs. Yeah, they're definitely up there, so to lose to them today will be very, very disappointing. Oh, no, I can imagine, I can imagine. Score prediction? Uh, I'll, I'll stick with what I've said in everyone else's videos. Nil, nil, one nil by the extra time. Who's scoring today for both Barnsley or Wednesday? I said one nil, so I'll go for Adam Phillips outside the box. He was one of them every now and then, so I'll go for that. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, anyone for Wednesday you're nervous for coming into today? The whole squad, they proved how good they are this season. Anyone oh, no, I can imagine, yeah, 100%. 100%. So, uh, Honest prediction, is there going to be some sort of um, heated fight or brawl or anything today between the players? Between the players? Either the players or the managers, yeah. It's the South Yorkshire derby after all. I've got to say, definitely with the fans, probably at the train station, because yeah. you're going to be one loser. Yeah. On the pitch, maybe, uh, the emotions might get high, you might, you might get ahead of them, but we'll see. Uh, Michael does quite a calm guy, so I think he'll handle the occasion pretty well, but we'll see how it goes. And now is the big one. How are we, Plymouth, going to do next season in the Championship, as it stands? Well, you've gone up, so I reckon you'll be confident. Um, obviously, you've got quite a few long players that you'll lose, but yeah. if you can... Member's gone already, so... Oh, yeah. Yeah. If you can recruit well, uh, everyone's got a good chance of staying up. The bottom half of the Championship is so competitive, so I reckon you'll have a very good chance of staying up. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. If you do go up, where do you think you'll finish in the Championship next season, as it stands? Oh, so it's a big ask, but we haven't even kicked off here yet. Oh, no, it's fair enough. It depends how we recruit. If we back Michael Duff, we could easily finish mid-table. If we don't, it could be another struggle season, but we'll get by today yeah. and we'll worry about that soon. And what about League One if you don't go up today? I think, I think we'll do positive and keep Michael Duff. I keep talking about that yeah. guy, but he's such a good manager. He's done great this year, what he's worked with. Definitely, definitely. We don't go up, I reckon we've got a good chance. We're joined by Kyle, Sunderland fan. Yes, mate. We're, yes. Gonna, we're both with each other next season. Championship, I cannot wait. First of all, before we get in, how do you feel? What did you think of us, Plymouth, this season in League One? Plymouth, obviously. Boston, yeah. Yeah. Finally, it's weird though because obviously when you know when you played the Dons on the last day of last season. Oh, it makes up for last season massively, and also 
the reason why I also had you doing well in the playoffs is because I remember this well. You got a point, nil nil, home park last season. Yeah, yeah. And uh, obviously, we lost two one at Stadium of Lion for a very hard fought game. You came out as winners at the end, of course. Uh, it's a very even record, isn't it, between us two? It could go one way or the other, but it's yeah. one of the longest away days of the whole it's season. So there, there's that mentality for both of our clubs as well. So for next season, it's your first time. Exactly, That's the same yeah. for me with Sunderland, so I can't wait for next season. And we'll try and do everything we can to do the double over Borough for you next season. Oh, yeah. I think they'll do well, but I think they might win the league next year. And know? then the last time we played your arch rivals was 2010. They relegated us to League One, Newcastle, that is. Yeah. Hate them, hate them black and white. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I don't mind Borough, to be fair. I don't really care about Borough. You it's, must be really annoyed they got Champions League this season. I am, but at the end of the day, it was always <laughs> going to happen. It's blood money, do you know what I mean? Like, like, yeah. They're saying Eddie Howe, Eddie Howe, and he has done a good job. I'll give him credit. But at the end of the day, it's not like it's the money's coming. You've got Champions League. That's why. It's not anything else. Yeah, like, no, fair enough. Ten percent Eddie Howe, nine percent the money. Um, at this stage last season, yep. what were your thoughts coming into your game against Wickham in the final I, after beating Sheffield Wednesday themselves? Yeah, I in had, the semis. I had no nerves. I knew we were going to win. Our form was. I think we're unbeaten in like what 15, 16 games. I was so confident, yeah. especially because Wickham quite, are quite like Luton. They're quite a physical side, love yeah. it up. And on the bigger pitch on Wembley, they get found out. I thought Luton would have got found out yesterday. In fact, I think if we played Luton in the final, we probably could have beaten them. It's just yeah. like Kenilworth Road, they bullied us on that smaller pitch, yeah. you know what I mean, which suited them very well. What was the away day like then at Kenilworth Road? Could not, I, I sat in the home end. <laughs> I'm Get actually gutted we're not facing Luton next season because I wanted to see what the stadium was like next season. Oh, but obviously, yeah. they've gone up to the Premier League and I'm delighted for them because it's been a, that's a fantastic story, National League for the Premier it League. Is. My mate's a uh, Luton fan as well. Oh, so nice. I was sat in with him in a home end because getting tickets for the away end is impossible. Only holds like 900 seats. Yeah. So for Sunderland, you had to have like over 100 lorry points. So I just couldn't get a ticket. So. Oh, yeah. 100%. School prediction for today then, Wednesday Barnsley so far. Also, what end are you in today, mate? We're in the Sheffield Wednesday. Oh, you're today. in the Wednesday end today? Yeah, I've got, got the colours, got the blue colour on. I'm That's like me Wednesday. with the reds, because I didn't know how I was going to dress today, but I thought I may as well blend with the Barnsley crowd. Yeah, I mean, I've got a And I have my place. Spanish shirt, so there we go. Wednesday, I've got a special place in my heart. I do love Wednesday. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Honestly. And, um, Even after everything that happened last season in the playoffs? What, letting us get to the final? Oh, yeah, exactly. I you... love them even more. <laughs> you know I mean? I think they're going to win 2-3-0 today, mark my words. OK, fair enough, fair enough. Um, who's going to score today for either Wednesday or Barnsley? Barry Bannon's getting a hat-trick. Oh, OK. Oh, OK. So you're going confident for last 3-0 Wednesday? Yeah, but Barry Bannon is just a worse Alex Pritchard, let me just say that. Fair enough, fair enough. But he is quality. No, I remember that. your team last season. He was unbelievable. <laughs> Ross Stewart was arguably the best striker in the league last I mean, season. I wouldn't have him this season and we got playoffs. Yeah. In, in like that's, that's mantle. And you know what's funny? And you'll love to hear this so far, but... Early days, of course, but I've got you going up next season through the playoffs. So. It's going to be a tough league, though. And then you will be back to where you feel you belong as well. The Premier League after all those horrible years. All those horrible years. And then we'll beat them mags next season. <laughs> beat them. Nah. Six easy points. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, I know it's not quite relevant to what's going on now, but I am going to ask this because I haven't got a Southern fan at all yet on my channel, but can you give me your favourite chant for the Black Cats? Uh, it's got to be, well it was the Ellis Sims one, but he left. Yeah. I like the Me Too one where it's like, it's, oh I forgot how it goes. I always forget how it goes. Yeah. It's like the Me Too, but then the, the best one's like, Diolo, running Mate, down the what a player he's best. been for you guys. He might be coming back as well. If apparently. so, that is unbelievable. And uh, well, I can't lie, I've already written us off of getting a win at the Stadium of Light already next season. I don't know, so. home form, home, <laughs> Unless we pull terrible. off a masterclass. Our home form's terrible though, it's our away form which is good. See, our for us it's the opposite, we're brilliant with home and our away is... Uh, well, our away's not been bad this season, but I know next season it's going to be so, so difficult yeah. when we're going to places it's like you guys, beat. Middlesbrough, Norwich. I mean, I hope we do the double over Preston because uh, Ryan Lowe's there. And I know you've got the same feeling with Stoke because Alex Neal's there. Especially after they beat us 5-1. Exactly. Uh. Well, so, obviously, we're, we're, both, we're both in a similar boat for this because we've got our 
animosity towards Ryan Lowe. Yours is towards Alex Neal after the way he left you guys. And look how it ended up, though. You've done better than Stoke this season. Mate, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets sacked before we played him. Yeah. If he has a bad start. Because the pressure's on. He didn't exactly do well other than when they beat us. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So. 100%. 100%. Um, and, uh, OK, now here's the main bit. How will we, Plymouth, do next season in the Championship? So far, what do you think how we're going to do? You're going to finish and you come back to when this is right, Kate. Okay? Okay. Right. I'll get one. Clip this and I'm right. Plymouth Argyle are going to finish 14th in the Championship. Next come on! Year. I will take that any day 14. of the week. It's going to happen. As long as in a few years' time we get what we want and we finally get our dream, like what Luton's done this season, and get to the Premier League, we are cooking. You're here to stay, trust me. Exactly. Our 14th, I'll take that anyway. After 13 years away from where we've missed. So, yeah. And I looked at the championship lineup next season. I was like, it's like old times, isn't it? I love it. No, fair enough. And where have you got yourselves next season so far? Oh, we're going to win the league by Christmas, we are. Fair enough. No, fair I'm enough. joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I don't, I don't know, it's a tough league. I, I think I'd be happy, with, I'd be disappointed if we don't get top six, I think. Especially because we've got it this year with no strikers. So if we recruit well, there's no reason. And I'd like to think we could push for autos, but it's going to be, the league next year is a tougher league than it was yeah. this year. So I honestly don't know, but I'd be disappointed if we don't get top six. And Ipswich, how will they do next season? Everyone, They've also gone up with us. Yeah, everyone's saying they're going to get uh, playoffs. Which I've got them ninth so far. I've got us 15th so far. Honestly, I think... I'd love to see them go back down, to be honest, just because everyone's <laughs> saying they're going to get playoffs, but I don't think they will. Imagine if Alex was here right now. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, I, I told him. I was like, everyone's saying they're going to get playoffs. I don't think they will. Like, I feel like everyone... What was Alex's reaction? He was just like, oh, we, we're good, though. We are quite good. <laughs> but the thing is, though, everyone's only saying that Ipswich can get playoffs because we pulled it off this year. Yeah. If I guarantee if we hadn't have done it, no one would be back in. Like, everyone was yeah. saying we're going to go down like last year. Do you know what I mean? But, I didn't. I had you saying I'm no problem so this many season. People so said, no. I had you saying I'm no problem this season anyway. I thought uh, we'd stay up. But, uh, at the start of the last season, I would have been happy if we just stayed up. The only one I had going back down was Rotherham, and they've stayed up as well. It's Wigan that's gone back down. I'm so pleased Wigan have gone back. Mate, they've been dreadful this season. And they've already got a minus eight deduction for next season. Colo, Colo. He was good, wasn't he? I can't lie. If we didn't go up this season, I would have loved to do Carlisle away next year and Leighton Orient. I'm just glad... No disrespect to these two. I'm glad we're not doing Northampton or Stevenage. So, it makes me glad we've gone up. So... Honestly, no, I cannot wait for next season. And I've already, I've asked Alex this as well. Um, a very <laughs> early question as well. So the fixtures come out on June the 22nd, my birthday of all days as well. 22nd, that's soon. Yeah, I know, it is. Out of anyone at the moment, who do you think Sunderland will get on the opening day of the season? God, if you had to pick anyone. I, I don't know what, I, I've got a funny feeling. I feel like it's just going to happen. I feel like we're going to have Ipswich because of like, really? what I've been saying. I just think we're going to have Ipswich, yeah. Right. 29 minutes till kickoff, and we're going to be underway here at Wembley for the League One playoff final Sheffield Wednesday versus Barnsley. Tune in for this one, guys. This is hopefully going to be a cracker. 14 minutes to go. Here we are. This is the Barnsley end. And it's the Sheffield Wednesday end. They haven't even kicked off yet. And the atmosphere is buzzing in both sides. Like, this is a derby match as well. Look at it. Look at Wembley Stadium. Wembley Stadium is South Yorkshire today. Apart from me, Cornwall. Here we go. A massive, massive playoff final. But for me, the two centre backs. On the announcement, this is just said in there. No, the two centre backs, Anderson and Palmer, they're the ones for me to look out for. They're both incredible, both of them. Big game today, and we're about to finally get started. The view is absolutely incredible, by the way. And we have just kicked off to lineups. Barnsley's just missed the setter. Nearly 1-0. There's 
no one there for Wednesday. No one there. Oh, just over. Just over. It's been a very intense first half. Half time. Nil nil. Goalless in the League One playoff final. So used to hearing the uh, half time scores, but of course it's the playoff final, so it's completely different. But yeah, no, it's half time. Barnsley nil, Sheffield Wednesday nil, League One playoff final. Very intense. That's all I can say. It's very intense. We've got a big second half coming up. And I could see it honestly go either way. Honestly, from my point of view, neutral point of view, bring it on. It's been very intense, very intense. I'm joined by Nick, Tom and Beth, three Barnsley fans here. They all know, they all know I support the mighty Argyle, so <laughs> great club as we all know. Anyway, how are you feeling so far after our first half? It's tight, yeah. it's tight. Tight. nervous, it's nothing really nervous. nervous. Well, that's what I've just said myself in my half-time course. I think it's been a very tight game. Is there anyone for Wednesday? That's an absolute danger Barry. You've always got to watch Barry Bannon. Barry. Barry Bannon's always the man. Don't you stop Barry Bannon playing. You stop Jeff Who's promised, who's, who's made you um, feel positive the most in the Barnes that performance so far? Yeah. Oh, always the Barnes You know what's the interesting thing is, is that I've had I was at Oak Park you guys hammered us 3 0. Um, <laughs> and you guys Anderson was amazing that day. That first half, we, I can't lie, I thought we dominated, but we just yeah. kept missing chance after chance after chance. And in second half, we completely captured The minute I saw us move 3 0, I saw it switch with Bolton that day, I saw Wednesday with Portsmouth that day. I said, this automatics can honestly, this automatics can go to any of us that And thankfully we bounced back anyway. Part of me thought you were going to do it as well when you beat Wednesday themselves. So, yeah, no, so, yeah. I'll stop the mentors already, it's when we play an instant. Have been all the, all the times in the top six. The minute I saw that game, I thought it was going to go up with us now. So that kind of finished our season. It feels like the fourth or fifth John's final was yesterday. Yeah. Being back on Wednesday today, <laughs> when we got hammered by Bolton that day, and yeah, they keep rubbing it in. I can say well, yeah, that's what I've been one point to pass and see if he's talking. <laughs> no, no, but yeah, um, yeah, it's been a very tight game. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 That depends. Classic players, Barnes is the as we've seen as coach go, we see as best players go, seems to answer with every single time. Well, even if you get promoted, yeah. Yeah. Well, start again, John. If you don't know up today, you start to be one out of the Yeah. Now here's the main question for my talent point of view. How do you think we're the next team in the At the moment, at the moment. Not bad to be fair. Blue and Larry. No, I'll take that. I'll take that. You know what? It's always a big jump. It is. We had, we We've been away from the chapter for 13 years, so I'm so glad we're back. So I'm really excited. You've got them next season, so we're going to let you know your team. What about Ipswich? How do you think you'll help them so far? I don't know they're going to be able to do that. I think they're going to be able to do that. Fair enough. Fair enough. Who's your money on to win the one so far next season? This is if you go on. If we go on? Yeah. I'll show you a win. Oh, fair enough. That's fair enough. What about, what about if Wednesday go up? Um, oh, <laughs> I can't lie, my money's on Derby at the moment, so... They're going to spend some money out, so... If they get more worn as well, we need to get back in love. We're going to... Yeah. I think you will, you just first 
I appreciate that. I'm Barnsley, who acts first on the substitutes. James Norwood on for Tedic. Duff is making a gamble. Breaking news. Adam Phillips has been sent off. A challenge on a Sheffield Wednesday player. Barnsley's down to 10. So it turns out there is VAR in this final. Oh, they're checking it, yeah, they're checking it. Turns out there is VAR in this final. This is going to be interesting. Will Barnsley have 11 or 10 men? They're checking the red card, serious foul play. But the Wednesday fans were celebrating with delight. Yeah, he's off. He's off. Brad's going to be furious. Oh, my God. Bunsley's hit the bar. The 10 men could have taken the lead. Best chance I've seen all game. <laughs> Wednesday's just missed a big chance themselves. Oh, good save by Dawson. Kirby Kane's getting the crowd roaring. Barnsley have a corner. Brilliant save by Dawson. On. Oh my God. What a chance and what a save by Cameron Dawson. I'll tell you what, Barnsley are playing so well with 10 men. 79 minutes and it's still deadlock. I can't lie, this is starting to remind me of the Netherlands versus Spain in that 2010 World Cup final in South Africa. Anyway, what can Barnsley do from this corner? Can they deliver? No. On oh, Wednesday's found Bannon. But Isted's cleared it. Is this a Barnsley chance? It's Nicky Cadden. There's no one there. It goes to extra time. It's still nil-nil. A very intense game this is, very intense. Well, it's going to extra time. We are not done yet here at Wembley. Extra time. Barnsley nil, Sheffield Wednesday nil. Please stream tune comes on. I'd say look at the difference between the Wednesday side and the Barnsley side. That was amazing from Anderson. Oh, he's kept it out. His head's kept it out. That was amazing defending. Such a nil-nil game. Oh, that's a brilliant ball by Nicky Cadden. That's a brilliant ball. Can they do it? No! 
No, they can't. Half time of extra time. It's going penalties at this point. It is honestly going blimmin' penalties at this point. Still no nil. We've got another 15 next. This is so intense. I've such an intense playoff final this is. Like, it's gonna easily go one way or the other, honestly. So intense. I have no other words to say about it, to be honest. Can't lie though, you've got to give Barnsley so much credit anyway. Barnsley have got a man down and they're still performing amazingly. Against a Sheffield Wednesday side who has finished just behind Plymouth and Ipswich in the League One table, behind us and Ipswich in the League One table and well 96 points obviously that doesn't matter now because it's the playoffs but they're going to feel frustrated with 11 men and cannot get anything at the moment it's going to be a mental second half of extra time coming but I'm honestly I'm not surprised if it, I'm not going to be surprised if it goes to penalties. It's such a nil-nil game. It could honestly go either way at this point. celebrating their goal but all the Barnsley fans are cheering oh it's been disallowed it's been disallowed it's been disallowed wow and I thought the Owls broke the deadlock when this game could not get more dramatic When this game could not get more dramatic and intense. Sheffield Wednesday have a goal disallowed. Such an intense derby, honestly, for a League One playoff final. Now, what can the Tarn do from this position? At the moment, nothing, because it went straight to Bannon. Well, Bannon's off. Look at, the, look at the contrast. Applause from the Wednesday fans. An absolute mockery from the Barnsley fans. So the feelings are abundantly clear. And this is just before... Well, Deli Bashiru's on. But this is all just before a possible penalty shootout. Last chance for Wednesday before penalties. Brilliant from Istad, absolutely brilliant from Istad. Wednesday's done it. That's enough for some Barnsley fans there. 
Well, I cannot believe what I've just seen. That looks like promotion for Sheffield Wednesday to the Championship. Right at the death. Right at the death. They've done it. Despair for Barnsley. Delight for Sheffield Wednesday. That's it. Sheffield Wednesday are in the championship and Barnsley are in League One for another season. That is such a cruel way to lose such a hard fought game. Wow. Wow, I've never seen anything like it. But I think, well, Wednesday's won it. Congratulations then. Wednesday are joining us and Ipswich in the championship. But you've got to feel for Barnsley because that is so heartbreaking to concede like that right at the death got to feel for Barnsley. That is such a cruel way to lose a playoff final. But it's part of the nature of football. Again, I'm so glad it's that we're not in the playoff final, but Barnsley can't be mad. They've got to be proud. They've got to be proud. Michael Duff has done an exceptional job this season. I mean, look at that. I summed it up. And after the absolute disaster that was last season, Barnsley have been so much better this season. And I tell you what, with a performance like that, with 10 men as well, they've got to be proud. They've got to be proud. And these fans are just showing why. Barnsley will be up there next season with Derby and Bolton, I reckon. They've got to be proud of that performance. As for Wednesday, I mean, you can't blame them for celebrating like this. Jake's going to be going mad. If you want this, Jake, congratulations to you. Wednesday are in the Championship next season, which means that is both League One and the Championship complete for the lineup for next season. We will be facing. I mean, we won't be facing Barnsley next season. We will be facing Wednesday next season. Now, high ho, silver linings playing. Fair play for the Barnsley players, applauding the fans and all that. Again, like I said, that is such a cruel way to lose a playoff final. But it was the, it's Darren Moore's side, the Owls, that absolutely delivered at the end. Well, that was very out of sync. So. My prediction was spot on. I said it would be our sims which on Wednesday and that's exactly what happened. Darren Moore has pulled off the miracle after the disaster of that Peterborough defeat to turn it around at Hillsborough against Peterborough with that amazing comeback and then delivering like this right at the very depth, stoppage time against Barnsley, one of their biggest rivals. And it sends Sheffield Wednesday to the Championship for next season. Barnsley will have to do with another season in League One. But like I said, Michael Duff and his team have got to be so proud today with what they've done. 
because that was an exceptional performance. That was exceptional for Bardsley, considering they had 10 men. I got a feel for all these supporters though. That is such a heartbreaking way to lose a final. But you can't blame Wednesday for celebrating. You know what's interesting? I did get it spot on at the end. I said us top at the midway point of the season, Ipswich second and Sheffield Wednesday to win the playoff final. And Sheffield Wednesday have won the playoff final. Wednesday are in the championship next season. Southampton, Leicester, Leeds relegated. Us, Ipswich, Sheffield Wednesday promoted. But there's going to be a lot of contenders next season in League One anyway. Barnsley, Reading, Blackpool, Wigan. Actually, no, not really Wigan. They've had minus eight deducted. Bolton, Derby, Peterborough, Pompey, Charlton. Still quite a few teams there. League One's still going to be interesting next season. Leighton Orient's promoted. Carlisle's promoted. I'm really excited for next season. I'm really excited for next season, which means next season, I will be returning to Hillsborough. And obviously I will be returning to Portman Road. Sheffield Wednesday are promoted to the championship. Darren Moore's delighted. The whole of their fans are delighted. I mean, look at that. Barry Bannon, Josh Windass, Deli Basiru, Liam Palmer, and you know what? The Wednesday fans will feel relieved as well, considering that they finished third with 96 points, which is their own fault. We were better, Ipswich were better, but Wednesday have proved that they're good enough to be in the championship, and they've done that today. Fair play to them, fair play to Sheffield Wednesday. And if you're watching this again, Jake, congratulations. Wednesday are in the championship, which means they are not my bottlers of this season. I know they were a lot of points clear, but still, you're not a bottler if you haven't if um, if you if you've gone up. My bottlers for this season are Portsmouth, 100 percent Bring on the championship next season. Commiserations for Bardsley. That is a that's a heartbreaking way to lose it. But they'll come back stronger. Michael Duff's been a revel revelation for the Tykes, as has the team. To come fourth place when you've just got relegated from an awful championship season, finishing lower than a deducted points derby, and giving it that kind of fight to us Ipswich on Wednesday all the way to the end is incredible. Bardsley will be ones to watch next season. It's heartbreaking for them, but it's not, it's not the end for them, obviously. They'll be up there next season in League One. And Michael Duff and the team have got to be proud. And as you see there, it's confirmed, obviously. Sheffield Wednesday are in the championship next season. trophy celebrations for Wednesday down there but I have got a train to catch so I am gonna have to depart Wembley and also that is the effect that is the end that is the end of the 2022-23 League One season so cheers for watching all my content this season guys and well bring on next season is that is Wednesday promoted 
Fair play to them. Fair play to them. So there we go. That is that's this season finished. Bring on next season. And I'll tell you what, bring on the championship because me with the boys in green, I cannot wait. That was a mental League One playoff final. So intense. I've never seen anything like it. And then the penalty shootout didn't happen at the end. Well, we'll go on to the next bit in a second because I do need to charge my phone. But wow, that was mad. What an experience and what, what a way to end the League One season. Like, next season's going to be mental. And we are back. Oh, my God. I've just properly woken up. What a day that honestly was. I can't describe how much of an intense final that was between two clubs based in pretty much the same region as well. It's a South Yorkshire derby that was. Barnsley, Sheffield Wednesday. It ended at extra time. Barnsley nil, Sheffield Wednesday won. Sheffield Wednesday had a goal disallowed as well. Honestly, I just I can't believe it. They scored literally right before on the verge of taking it to penalty shootouts. Wednesday score literally in the 123rd minute and final minute of extra time stoppage time. Like... You cannot see things more dramatic than that. To get rid of any thought of penalty shootouts. Sending Wednesday into the championship with us in Ipswich. Barnsley will be in League One for another season. But any Barnsley fan that's watching this, you've got to keep your heads high at the end. Because that was a brilliant performance. Even with 10 men, even with 10 men, they played so well. If that was us with 10 men, I wouldn't have been that confident at all. Or with most teams, really. But that was, honestly, to play that well with a man sent off as well, that's, that's unbelievable. That is absolutely unbelievable. And they fought right to the death as well. It was It was very interesting and intense to watch. Um... But they got they got to keep their heads high because that was an exceptional performance. And they're going to be one of the favourites for League One next season. They've got a brilliant manager in Michael Duff. And with players like Liam Kitching, Nicky Kate, Nicky Cadden, Mads Anderson, James Norwood, Devante Cole, Herbie Kane, Harry Istead. Istead was unbelievable yesterday. He was personally for me, actually. He was personally, for me, the best player on the pitch yesterday. It's a shame the way um, he conceded um, at the end of the match yesterday to um, Josh Windass of Sheffield Wednesday. But uh, he, he had an exceptional game, no matter what is said. If Barnsley can keep their team and their manager, I think they will keep Duff regardless anyway. I don't think anyone's going to leave that team. But if they keep that team for next season, they're going to be absolutely well up there next season, I reckon, in League One. In fact... I can see Barnsley, Derby and Bolton, three of the chasers of us, Ipswich and Sheffield Wednesday this season, be the three main contenders of League One next season. I can just see it happening. I really can. Maybe Peterborough as well, but I don't know yet. And obviously, Reading's going down, Blackpool's going down, Wigan's gone down. They're all going to be in the mix as well. Wigan's got an eight-point deduction though, so that's a terrible start for them. Honestly, it's League One's going to be interesting next season, even that we're not going to be there, thank God. We're going to be in the Championship. And it's unbelievable on who we're going to face next season. That is the Championship confirmed. The Championship next season is Plymouth, Bristol City, Cardiff, Swansea, Southampton, Millwall, QPR, Watford, Norwich, Ipswich, West Brom... Stoke, Birmingham, Coventry, Leicester, Blackburn, Preston, Sunderland, Middlesbrough, Rotherham, Sheffield Wednesday, Huddersfield, Leeds and Hull. 
Like, that is a mad championship next season. And I'm excited for every single minute of it. I really am. I really am. It's going to be a mental championship season next season. The fixtures come out on my birthday on June the 22nd, which is going to be very interesting as well. So we're going to see who we get for each of the rounds, for each of the rounds. And of course, well, this is the League One lineup next season. Reading, Blackpool, Wigan, Barnsley, Derby, Bolton, Peterborough, Portsmouth, Charlton, Wickham, Lincoln, Shrewsbury, Fleetwood, Exeter, Burton, Bristol Rovers, Port Vale, Cheltenham, Oxford, Cambridge, Northampton, Stevenage, Leighton Orient and Carlisle all joining them in League One next season. They're the four promoted from League Two. So that's also going to be interesting. But with that game done now, that is a wrap. That is a wrap for the 2022-23 season for League One completely. Morecambe's been relegated. MK Dons has been relegated. Accrington Stanley's been relegated. And Forest Green's been relegated. But that is a wrap for League One this season. Uh, in fact, it's a wrap for the entire of domestic football next um, um, for this season. That is officially a wrap for this season uh, domestically. There's still two games left of this season. The FA Cup and the FA Cup final between Man City and Man United. And the Champions League final between Man City and Inter Milan. But... Honestly, I, it's been a pleasure this season has. And I'll tell you what, I can't wait for next season. I cannot wait at all. Cheers for watching this video today, guys. Um, I guess we end it there then. Barnsley are staying in League One. Sheffield Wednesday are promoted to the Championship. What a playoff final that was. Up the Janners, up the Greens, up the Argyle, up the Pilgrims, up the Plymouth. Come on, you boys in green. Take care, guys. I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.